Hey, I'm Joe Kurtenbach with American Rifleman, and this week we're taking a look at Sig Sauer's M11A1. A little history to start things off. In the early 90s, Sig's traditional double action, uh, single action pistols, semi automatic pistols, had definitely taken hold. That P series among law enforcement and military communities was really well respected, especially the P226. However, among those communities, there was also need for a smaller version of the pistol, something easier to conceal, particularly for investigators, plain clothes. And frankly, there were some agencies and militaries that just preferred a smaller gun. So SIG came out with the P228. Now this was basically a chopped P226. They shortened the barrel, shortened the slide, shortened the grip. It originally fed from a uh, 13 round magazine and it still used the uh, folded carbon steel uh, slide assembly of the P226, but it was a smaller gun, very compact. Here in the United States, that was adopted for military use as the M11. Fast forward a few years, uh, SIG starts producing the P229. Now this is a stainless steel slide, fully machined, uh, but it still has those compact dimensions. Very good gun, first one built here in the United States. Fast forward a few more years, and in 2012, SIG introduces the M11A1. Basically, they're taking those same P228 dimensions. They basically got rid of the P228 line and folded it all in the P229 line. And the military style version, the version uh, built for the military and with the same styling as the M11, they dubbed the M11A1. And again, that's because rather than the original M11's uh, folded carbon steel slide. This one has a stainless steel fully machined slide. So let's look at some of the features, but before we go any further, this is a cleared gun and it has been checked and double checked for safety. For one, it definitely is a compact version of that, those traditional P-series guns. Got a 3.9 inch barrel, um, and of course, being a military style gun, uh, it's gonna have that good nitron finish. And in fact, the M11A1s do go through like the salt spray uh, test to test the cor uh, corrosion resistance. And this one passes for sure. Feeds from a 15 round magazine. Now that's gonna be common with the P229s. It's the same magazine, because this is essentially a P229. You will see though that uh, there are some differences like the trigger guard, rather than being hooked like some of the more traditional uh, P-series guns, this one's curved. Um, also lacking a rail, very slim design, great compact pistol. It's a double action trigger, so the first pull is very long and heavy, about a 10 pound pull. It is smooth though. Uh, and then for follow on shots, of course, you have a nice short light trigger. And this one, in fact, if we pull the trigger there, uh, the M11A1 comes with the short reset trigger. So if I can show you, the travel is very short to reset. Taking a look at the controls, it's just what you would expect. We've got our takedown lever. Rotating this allows the slide assembly to come off. We've also got our uh, decocker. So when the hammer is cocked, the decocker will allow the hammer to drop to a safe position. Uh, and at this point, again, it's a double action pull. Whereas if the hammer is all the way back, it's just that single action pull. Uh, and we also have our slide stop and release. So basic controls, exactly what you would find. And in fact, a lot of these controls, a lot of the functionality of this gun is why it was so popular with military and law enforcement. At the time when agencies were converting from revolvers, that double action pull was familiar. And for the semi-automatic crowd, that short reset and that semi-automatic function, uh, it was a very good design that kind of blended some of the best of both worlds. Topping the slide, we have SIG's venerable SIG Light Night Sight, so tritium powered three dot arrangement. And for a grip, we have a nicely textured uh, wraparound style grip. And of course you can see here, it's labeled P228, which is kind of funny because it's now in the P229 family. Uh, and just for authenticity on the M11A1, SIG does include a UID tag. Um, these would be used by military or law enforcement uh, armors to scan the guns in and out of inventory. And for authenticity, it's included here. So that's it, we have the Sig Sauer M11A1, a compact service style traditional double action pistol um, and a lot of great features here from Sig and available for commercial sale. For more, you can go to SigSauer.com.